Hey guys, I'm Andre, a certified translator and a real estate concierge. Today's video is about marriages, divorces, translation involved in between, marriage contracts, and a few other things. And it's a good example of why you may need the services of a concierge here on the ground, not necessarily related to buying a property. Thank you for staying with the channel. May is a delicious month over here, good for marriages and uh, other kinds of things related to it. So I popped into the central marriage office, let's roughly call it this way, here in central Minsk, near Victory Square, in the first line because they have a great deal of foreigners coming through. And I'm trying to find out some formalities for my Korean would-be husband of a local wife. And it's kind of exciting and complicated. If one never divorced, the list of papers required for this procedure is neither exciting nor complicated. I'll put the rough requirements over here. If you divorced, you'd have to have a certificate of divorce and uh, then a couple of other things that you'll get fixed here on the ground in Minsk. Often there would be wives over here, mostly their local wives, do their research in a perfect way, but sometimes people want to double check or just uh, not get them bothered about this. So that's why I've popped into this place last Friday to ask what my Korean should present for the marriage sake. And when we came to the point of a translator, it was kind of funny because an English speaking translator certified myself. They said I couldn't really be there because they need a Korean guy to translate for the Korean guy. And I asked what the hell was the logic uh, behind this. They say, well, that's how we see things. I say, yeah, it's good. You see things, but you know, it's like traffic cops see things and uh, normal people just get the law book and they say, yeah, this paragraph stipulates Latvians use Latvian translators, British use British, and so on and so forth. I asked the consultant lady, the very consultant lady that uh, was there three years back. I had my American guy married, I had a British guy married, but in a different office. I had a Canadian guy of Afghanistan origin married here, and all of them were happy, and I was a happy translator down there. So she says, well, the color of your passport means the, the kind of a translator you bring in. Well, words followed words and questions and my astonished, excited reaction about things. I decided to leave a written uh, request about how things work and maybe in a week they will enlighten me. So if you have any translation to marriage related questions, guys, please put them underneath this video. I'll be happy for any feedback and I'll be happy to eliminate any issues related to it. Speaking of a marriage contract, the scientific term is prenuptial agreement and I don't like it, so I call it marriage contract. <coughs> the contract thing with between man and wife comes, uh, there are no other combinations allowed in Belarus, by the way comes uh, after the marriage and it has to be a willing voluntary expression of uh, let's say plans about whose property remains with whom i already had one of these so if you need a lawyer if you need this processed and uh, prepared by a professional i'll be happy to hook you up and uh, act as a translator in between if needed i don't do the girl subject you know that the nightclubs and everything are for other bloggers here so i'll be happy to enlighten you on the doc documental side of this business if you have any marriage related questions if you wish to process something something remotely there was a guy who was going to divorce remotely from the uk but uh, i didn't see the thing through to the end he wasn't directly in touch with lawyer so if something like that is in your planning i'll be happy to assist here on the ground thank you for supporting the channel now i only get the patreon money and it's the only way to support the channel for those of you who decided to do so Cheers from Minsk, marry responsibly, we'll see you later.